eight on the right. Okay. Jackson Klein leading it off for Kansas, swinging it away. Slapped over towards short, backhand stopped by Tevin Tucker. Nice throw, but the speed from Klein beats it. Chase Jans up to the plate. That one gets past the catcher, Dane Leonard, all the way to the back. Klein leading off second. Another payoff, jam shot back to the mound through Porco's legs, and it's bobbled by the second baseman, Weatherhold, a rare occurrence from a sure-handed second baseman. Klein will... Going to be ruled an E4 back-to-back -back errors. Here's another chance, and it's booted by Tevin Tucker. Run will score in Klein. That one was first out here at the top of the first inning. And he does. Got a strikeout on Reeder. Ginaga. And he's swinging away first pitch. High chopper back to short. Tucker, tough play. Makes a throw on the run. Two away. First got to take care of Kansas here in the top of the first. 2-2. Two -two. That's right there, cold strike three. Factor that all the great ones have, and he's more confident this year, and there you go. He's seeing it pretty well right now. Single right back up the middle. Trying to make a statement for West Virginia. Again, a team that has not. Landon Wallace, that one might have hit him. Got him on the back foot. Bradford deals, and that also got Leonard on the back. Leg there, and the bases are going to be loaded after two. And Wallace and Leonard were both hit by a pitch by Ethan Bradford, the starting pitcher for Kansas. And that's away, ball four. We are tied. And that's outside, ball four. This ball is hit well out to right, charging in on it, making the catch is Lito. Runners will hold. Leo's got a good arm out there. One ball, two strikes. Bases juice for West Virginia. And this ball's laced. Out to right field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Leonard will score. McNeely coming in. He will score. West Virginia tacks on a couple more here in the bottom of the first. For West Virginia, Logan Sauve coming to the dish. Who hit his first home run of the season yesterday. And he gets hit. Oh, my goodness. That is three hit batsmen, two of which were from Bradford. Toughness here. Here's Tevin Tucker batting in the ninth spot, swinging away. Chopper towards third, Brooks to second, back to first, not in time. Tevin Tucker with his speed. Hunter Cachero trying to do the tangling here. Rolled over towards first, picked up by Cole Elvis, he'll take it himself, and that will end the fastball first strike, slider first strike, changeup first strike. The freshman has been on point. That one back to the mound, and able to stick with it, get the app. Two strikes to Jans, nobody aboard. Got him a chase. And Leonard completes the strikeout, five Ks. Now steps up, got some power in that bat. Lifts this one out to right center field, long run for Barry. Look it up, and this ball is out of here. Cole Elvis. Lasts another home run. Make it seven on the year for the senior out of California. That's a walk. Bunker anything for a freshman. Nonetheless, the numbers that he's putting up. He goes down swinging there on three straight pitches from Porco. First inning. That one might have hit off his Evo shield there. Took a strange hop. It was called a fair ball. That that looks. Oh, they might have got him here. Throw to second. They got him. So nobody aboard now. And then and Wallace rips this one down the right field line, and that gets over the wall. Landon Wallace, his fourth home run of the year. This game is hugely important. Some more opportunities just because everyone's moving around so quickly. But on the ground towards third, Michael Brooks up with it. Throw across and it's missed. Oh, Elvis might have taken his eye off it for just a moment. Barry rips this one down the left field line. A lot of top spin and one hop off the wall.
McNeil is going to score easily. Coasting in the second with an RBI double. Gives 24th ranked West Virginia 7 2 lead. On the ground towards short. Cobb up with it. And that will do it here in the fourth inning. Strikeout and a walk for Reeder today. Swing and a miss. Elevated the fastball that time. In the air. Out to right field. McNeely, easy play, two away. Line drive. Fair ball. Down the right field line. And English going to leg out a two-out double here in the top of the sixth. Back up the middle. Tucker's right there behind second base. And that will do it. 12 strikeouts, 111. This is fourth at bat. I, I love that about him hitting first. Got a hold of this one straight away. Center field going back. Klein makes the catch on the warning track. Done. Uh -oh. Takes another one. This one could be gone. And this one is gone. Two home runs in the game for Landon Wallace. Fifth of the year. Wow. I know offense is up this year in college baseball, Sam, but. Oh, there it is. Uh, I, the answer to the question is yes, but the team that would take it from would be Virginia for me. Okay. Cross the diamond. But for the job he's done at Texas. Agreed. This ball straight away center. Way back there. Off the batter's eye. And Hussey. Seven home runs on the year. And the bats continue to come alive for West Virginia. You don't have to stay in one little area. Breaking pick. 2-2, two -two, Reader got a hold of this one down the right field line. And Reader takes it out of the park. Eight home runs on the year. For the left-handed bat, Jason Jansen Reader. Transfer a talent, that's just the way it works. Yeah, you're, you're certainly going to have some turnover in that early first year. Off the end of the bat, and that one just ate up Hussey at first. Shoji Naga's trying to leg out a double, and he's going to be out. Really good defensive play by Mc... That's down, ball four to England. This one lined towards second on a couple of hops. 3-1 is up to from oh, I'm sure. the great. Yeah, it was awesome. There's J.J. Weatherhold taking it the other way. That's got double written all over it with the speed of Tucker held up at third base. Nobody out. West Virginia trying to tack on a couple more, but pitch clock obviously is what everyone focuses on. It's Landon Wallace swings in the first pitch down the third baseline, up throwing across the diamond. Nice tag by Cole Elvis. Dane Leonard swinging away, hanging, breaking pitch on the ground. Cobb to first, nice play, nice stretch. I got a feeling that that's probably going to come out of the west there, Runes, for you. It's probably yeah, still going right. to be out there. This one ripped into left field off the bat. Oh, McNeely is going to produce the 11th run of the game for West Virginia as he coasts into second with a two-out double. Yeah, And that enough. feels unfair, and that's going to happen in the postseason, but it's an inventory issue. Out to left center field, another double for Barry in this game. Plates McNeely. Well, I mean, that one gloved. Brooks is like, what do you look for for teams that you think project well to have success of the Big 12 tournament as Weatherholt records the first out of the top of the ninth? Brooks singled in his last at bat. This one off the end of the bat, back up the middle. Tough hop there for Weatherholt. Fires in college baseball. So many of these guys have pro experience, and that is to our advantage. 
One, two, hanging, breaking pitch. That one caught under it by Jans out to center field. Barry makes the catch, and you hear him easy from the dugout. That's pretty high praise from your current coach. Yep. Skies this one out to left field. Wallace under it. And that should do it. Indeed it does. West Virginia avoids the sweep. 